Imagine you are playing soccer with your friends. When you kick the ball, two important concepts from physics come into play, momentum and force. Although they are often mentioned together, they have different meanings and roles in how objects move. Think about momentum as the property an object has because it is moving. Momentum depends on two things, how much mass the object has and how fast it is going. A tiny ping pong ball rolling slowly does not have much momentum, but a heavy bowling ball rolling faster has a lot more. The formula for momentum is simple. Momentum equals mass times velocity, P equals M times V. The faster and heavier something is, the more momentum it carries. Now, picture force. Force is what makes objects speed up, slow down, stop, or change direction. Whenever you push, pull, or kick something, you're using force. Force is an interaction that causes a change in motion. In physics, the main formula for force is force equals mass times acceleration, F equals M times A. Acceleration is how quickly an object speeds up or slows down. Let's look at a common scenario. You kick a stationary ball. Your foot exerts a force on the ball, making it accelerate and start to move. The force you apply changes the ball's velocity, giving it momentum. The more force you use, the faster the ball accelerates and the more momentum it gains. Here's another example. Imagine a car and a bicycle riding side by side at the neighborhood at the same speed. Even though they move equally fast, the car has a lot more momentum than the bicycle because it's so much heavier.